Uh, I don't know if you guys can can live with that or if you guys are okay with something like that on the seat. Uh, I don't think it stands out too much, but it's just something that uh, that I just noticed. See on this side, it's clean. Kinovatos, thanks again for tuning in to yet another video. Infamous coming at you live from San Jose, West Coast, California, baby. That's right. Uh, I just wanted to give you guys my first impressions of this beautiful looking Saddleman uh, Pro Step Up San Diego Customs Edition seat. Uh, I don't know. You guys let me know what you guys think, man. This, this seat is just gorgeous. It looks really nice. I am digging the overall look. I do like the little lumbar support additional lumbar support right there yes so you could you could set this down a few different settings you have these little grooves here that kind of catch it uh, they also send you a little pin they could kind of lock it in place so it doesn't go down while you're riding and i do like it uh i like the overall look of it so far i've been riding it with with it collapse all the way down uh, it does give you quite a bit of support it feels good honestly it, it does feel great the overall look, the diamond stitching, the, the styling, everything, the uh, the little logo here, it looks really nice. I do like it. Uh, the grip material is only on the back side. So I don't know if you guys can see this right here. This is where your gripping material starts. There's also gripping material on, on the lumbar support uh, pad. And you also have some of that gripping material up here on the passenger seat. Uh, like I said, this is the first impressions. Uh, from what I've noticed from unboxing and just having it on the bike for a little bit, uh, there is more padding in the passenger seat. You could also get this uh, uh, padded with a gel coating, with a gel uh, foam or whatever. Uh, and that's an additional, of course, an, an, an additional cost from from uh, from Saddleman. And the difference between the step-up seat is just this little curve right here as well. Uh, you have a little bit more padding in, the, in this area. Uh, this reminds me of a, of a Corbin... Uh, style type of seat of the uh, whiplash style type of seat. It's just a little bit more It's a little bit more comfortable. It kind of just grips and, and it contours to your butt uh, <laughs> it, it yes, it, it, it just it just contours to your butt and it just gives you a nice seated position on on the bike And like I said the the gripping material is only on the back uh, I'm guessing the reason why they don't have it down here so you can move up and down the uh, the seat depending on, on how you're riding uh, Depending if you really want to get on it You can move up and then you can move back and then just have that r relaxed feel and then have that grip uh, grip onto your clothes or, or grip onto your body uh, Impressions overall. I do like the, the way it looks. I think it looks really <laughs> really sexy I really like the uh, the little pad on the top. I'm not sure you guys go ahead and let me know in the comments What do you guys think? Uh, about this little additional pad. Uh, I weighed the seats From lifting this seat. I knew immediately that this seat was heavier So if you're out there and you're looking for for weight uh, Reduction or, or whatever performance wise and you're trying to slim down on the weight this seat does weigh it weighs in about 10.2 pounds. Uh, the step-up seat, the other settlement step-up seat, that weighs in at at eight pounds, give or take. So this this is this is two pounds heavier than the uh, than the step-up seat. But you know what? It feels great. I, I am enjoying the ride. As far as the the back pad itself, if you're wearing a vest like like I do, I do have a impact armor in this vest in the back, and this does kind of get in the way. Uh, in case you guys were wondering, um, I guess negative stuff or cons so far that I've initially uh, came came to find out is just that my uh, my back my back uh, armor in my vest that tends to kind of get in the way. So. Uh, I did ride this without the uh, without the vest, and it does feel better. Uh, just with this and the, and the arm in the back, uh, it, it just kind of gets on a little bit. It, it's a little bit into your back, but who, I mean, who knows? Maybe you, you might find that comfortable. Like I said, this is so far what I've noticed. Uh, maybe maybe I'll, I'll probably enjoy having that extra pressure on my back. Uh, just maybe in a couple more miles, or until I break it in. Uh, like I said, this is a brand new seat, so, and I've had my step-up seat for about 5,000 miles, so, uh, I do like the change, I like the, uh, the overall design, 
some high quality stuff but I've came to kind of notice a couple of imperfections and this is something that I used to do uh, for the body shop I used to kind of it was it was kind of a quality control sort of deal and I would always kind of point out little imperfections and this is just the stuff that I that I've noticed just by looking at it and and unboxing it it's just there's seems to be a little bit of an extra material behind this spot right here I don't know what that is You see that? That looks to be maybe an infold or something when they cut it or I don't know what it is. Uh, I don't know if you guys can can live with that or if you guys are okay with something like that on the seat. Uh, I don't think it stands out too much. But it's just something that uh, that I just noticed. See on this side it's clean. There's nothing there so I don't know. I mean I'm not sure what happened. Maybe... They, they didn't tuck it in properly or maybe they left some excess material and now that's just kind of poking through the uh, through the seat. I don't know, you guys let me know what you guys think. Can, is, is that something you guys can probably live with? Uh, another little minor imperfection that I noticed is just, uh, I guess these lines don't really match or it's just this one. This is the only line that doesn't match. Everything else looks looks to be pretty good as you can see right here. All these kind of these uh, pattern matches, and then when you get to this one, uh, it just kind of shoots over this side. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure what happened there. Like I said, it looks like this stitching should have been on this side to kind of get it to match, or who knows? Uh, I don't know. I mean, that's just minor little stuff that I picked up on on just having it for, I believe my my first my first few hours. Uh, is there anything else about it? Uh, yes, mainly because of the because uh, of this uh, curve right here, the step up area. Uh, this new curve here, it does move you up up on the tank, and it moves you up on the seat. Uh, I'd say about maybe anywhere from a quarter inch to half an inch. Like I said, I don't know right now. Uh, it's a it's a brand new seat, so but I have measured uh, myself with the measuring tape who knows how accurate it is but so far I've measured about maybe a quarter quarter inch to half an inch of difference so you do see it a little bit higher and a little bit forward on this seat but uh, like I said that's mainly because you don't have that uh, that line anymore on the step up seat and that's pretty much it uh, there's there isn't really much to say yes this is a, a, a little bit of a softer seat and there is a little bit more extra cushion, so it, it is going to be a little bit more comfortable. Uh, it's just, I think it looks great. I really like it. Uh, I did enjoy the flat on the on the step-up seat, and I did enjoy having the tuck and roll designs. But uh, it's time to change it up a little bit, give it that uh, that uh, touring type of style of, of, of a seat. Uh, you guys go ahead and leave your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think. You guys think the uh, the step up seat looks better, or do you guys think this looks pretty good? Um, I still have the other two seats. I don't know. Maybe I'll probably do a giveaway or something once we hit a, a certain goal. Uh, you guys just go ahead and leave your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, you guys just stay out there, stay safe. Don't believe everything you read. Life's a risk. Get out there and ride. Later.